Hi, I'm Devranya. And I'm Jessica. And we're on a special field trip right here at the Arizona Science Center. Now, a field trip wouldn't be complete without students. Hi, I'm AJ. Hi, I'm Ty. Hi, I'm Mark. Today we're going to explore some cool exhibits that... Ooh, I can't wait to see Narnia. Looks like someone's pretty excited. Well, me personally, I can't wait to see Grossology. Maybe we should head there first. What do you guys think? Yeah! yeah! All right, let's go. Hi, everybody. You can call me her grossness. I'm the founder of Grossology, the impolite science of the human body. This exhibit is 10,000 square feet with 35 interactive displays. Ooh, things are getting smelly around here. Perfect time to check in with the gallery manager. So I understand Grossology is back for a second time. What continues to make this exhibit so popular? Well, just, I mean, it's the name, Grossology. It's everything that you can imagine that's gross, dealing with the human body and the animal body is in this exhibit. And as you can see, there's Tons of kids here having fun, uh, exploring the body, uh, exploring all the gross stuff in their body and different animals' bodies. People are always nervous to talk about bodily functions like burps and farts and, and stuff like that. And, and kids want to learn about that stuff. They want to know what's natural. So uh, they created an exhibit that, had, that incorporated all that stuff as a learning tool to help kids know that stuff is natural that comes out of them. In this exhibit, my favorite thing is a life-size operation table because it teaches kids uh, uh, the different anatomy about the body, where your, uh, where your bladder is, uh, your femur bone, different things like that. It's a life-size operation table where they have to pick out the bones in different uh, body parts and it's really interactive and they learn a lot. Well, we just couldn't resist visiting this next display. All right, what we do is you just push the buttons and then you rip a fight. That, that one was, that was That's a pretty fun. strong fart there, pretty par powerful. <laughs> well, I had a big breakfast and filled with eggs and cabos, and so. <laughs> so tell me, what happens when we actually pass gas? What's going on in the body? Well, as you can see, we, uh, we eat food, and when we eat food, sometimes we in have an intake of air, and it just, it's inside of our, our intestines, and we have little valves. They don't look like valves like that, like metal ones that we used to, but we have sphincters and we open those sphincters up and air will come out. So that is what a fart is. Thank you for clearing that up. <laughs> Thanks. Looks like the kids were up to a lot, but certainly not falling short in learning. Oh, cool. This is called a sleep tight and basically it's about a mosquito, and uh, what I'm doing right now is um, the blood is being sucked from somebody, someone that bit. This is a game about different animals that are slimy, and you have to try to guess which one is the slimiest. So did you guys have a great time in grossology? Yeah! yeah. So what did you guys learn today? I learned that you get new mucus every 20 minutes. Ooh. I learned where boogers come from. <laughs> what about you, AJ? I learned where farts came from. Ah, farting is a good thing, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of gross things, but very helpful in terms of our bodies, right? Yeah. Well, there's nothing gross about our next exhibit, but it's definitely very cool. We're about to enter the most amazing world of Narnia. And it just so happens that the Arizona Science Center is the first ever to host this exhibit. Now, this is the exhibit I was most excited about, so let's check it out. Entering Narnia is a truly magical experience. Prepare to enter the magical world of Narnia. Author C.S. Lewis created a child's fantasy, a world where young people are the heroes. Narnia is a beautiful place, filled with imaginary creatures and mysterious inhabitants. If you dare to enter the castle of the White Witch, 
you might end up frozen. Okay, maybe not in this exhibit, but our kids find out it's hard to escape the ice wall. With a little perseverance, they manage to find their way back to Narnia. But Narnia isn't what it once was. Its inhabitants are preparing for battle. Swords and catapults lie waiting for Narnia's heroes to protect what's theirs. Through strength and bravery, evil is defeated. And our heroes receive a warm welcome from their friends, and most importantly, Aslan. This is definitely one exhibit you have to see for yourself. Wow, this is probably one of the best field trips I've ever been on. Yeah, me too. I had a lot of fun. And a special thanks to our kids for helping out. Now, we've only seen a couple of exhibits here today, but there's so much more. Something here for everyone. That's right. And if you'd like more information on these exhibits, please visit our website at phoenix.gov slash no99. For No 99, I'm Devranya. And I'm Jessica.